What's good everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. Hope you all are having a great day today, and today we're back with the other part of the speed build that I did. I have zero clue what it's called, but you guys know it because it's the title down below. So yeah, enjoy it. Um, today guys, I'm literally just going to be talking to you guys um, on a serious note because I need someone to talk to and I'm going to abuse you guys because you guys have to listen to me. It's either you guys are listening to me or you guys are going to mute me, and most of the time you guys are going to listen to me, so ha! Um, so yeah, I need some people to talk to, so... <laughs> I'm using you guys. But anyways, guys, how y'all been? I hope y'all have been a great day on this hectic, crazy Tuesday. Um, it's it's been it's been a wild week for me, so I want to I do want to apologize for all the people that have been commenting and have been talking to me on social media and stuff, and I haven't replied back to you guys. For all people on my Snapchat, R.I.P. I have been on Snapchat in weeks. <laughs> I'm totally sorry. I've been it's just been hectic going back to school because of the whole strike thing and my teachers are like, hey, let's post an assignment every single day. <laughs> that's, a, that's such a great idea. It's not. Yeah, but anyways, that's what I decided to do. But it's been a very hectic few days for me or yeah, hectic week. So I apologize for that. But um how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing great. But uh so today though, today we're gonna talk about well I need to talk to some I need to talk to somebody. Guys, here's a funny story. I need to talk to people, right? And you guys know I use you you guys are my therapy i use you guys as the people i talk to i need to talk to because ain't anybody else gonna listen to me so why not use you guys why not use you guys because <laughs> to watch this video yep i need some type of commentary so i'll use that but um so lately uh lately i've been like really talk like i've been thinking out loud not really thinking out loud yeah i've been thinking out loud i've been verbally talking to myself out loud instead of in my head recently and it's been going on for a while now because I've always, since I was a kid, I've always talked to myself in my head. Oh my god, I'm burning my fries. I'll be right Guys, I'm going crazy. I'm seriously losing my head. <laughs> I told you guys a few seconds ago that my fries are burning. That was a lie because the stove is not even turned on. <laughs> I literally have a bag full of fries. No, not even a bag. I didn't put the bag in. I'm not that stupid. But I have fries in the oven and the oven is not even turned on. <laughs> I'm such a like I'm guys I'm losing it I'm losing it today honestly so yeah like I said before I've been talking to myself a lot lately and talking to myself out loud um and today especially because today is the first time that I've been getting dirty looks well I've always got dirty looks from it and I don't really care but I had a full out <laughs> here we go okay here's the story so I I was I was at the bus stop and I have no clue, but I started thinking about since like you know Christmas is coming back. I want to give back to like I want to back to this, I want to give back to like society. <laughs> Guys, this it gets bad. It gets cringy. So I want to give back to society in some way, right? So I was thinking that I would make like a uh, what's called again. I like on one of my videos, I like a launch a GoFund for um, families in need or like single mothers. I don't know why that came up to my head because my mom, growing me up, she was a single mom. So. uh <laughs> I always want to give back to that, so I was like, you know what, maybe since I have a platform, I can use that to my advantage, so that's how it all started. So pretty much how that went was, so I started thinking about how we would do that, and so I would start a GoFund, and then I would want to, like, give back to the people, and then I started, like, thinking of how I was going to do that, like, how I was going to, like, give them back to them, because you know me, I love watching those videos where, like, they go and, they, like, like, surprise people, but not, like, show up at your door and be like, oh, surprise, here's your money. No, I went, like, we go, we, like, interview them, like, uh, guys, I started thinking about how the interview was going to go, how I was going to get them how i was gonna find people like it was crazy i was like playing this out because i really want to do it I, it's, it's christmas time i want to give back in some way this is where it's getting crazy right now <laughs> so pretty much um I, I in my head i already pictured the mother that i'm already giving the money to or the like some of the money that from the gofund i'll be giving to so i already pictured me handing them the check and then um I get very detailed with my imagination. My, my imagination is very detailed and I'll think out everything. And so in the imagination of me giving the mother the check, um, she has a son and I asked, I talked to the son. I'm like, son, guys, I'm being completely serious right now. I thought about all of this. I'm like, son, do you, I'm like, which is word for word, the conversation I had in my head. I'm like, son, do you love your mother? And he's like, yeah, I love my mother. I'm like, in, in, um, in, uh, cause the guy, I was like, how old are you? And he's like, I'm seven. I'm like, listen, in 13 years, you're gonna truly appreciate your mom. And you're, and you think you love her now. You're gonna, in, in the 13 years, you're gonna, 
you're gonna think that this love was stupid compared to how you're gonna love her then because you're gonna realize when you grow up all the struggles she had to go through to get to where you were and i went on this long tangent and i thought i was talking to myself in my head right i'm talking about so here, here's the speech though here's the speech you like you're gonna this is, so this imagine somebody just okay just imagine you being a random person and there's somebody walking back and forth well everyone's just waiting for the bus and there's that one guy who's walking back and forth in a big huge trench coat wearing some broken down shoes talking to himself walking back and forth this is this imagine some per, this, this imagine saying this like son you are gonna love your mother in 13 years more than you ever realize because when you because when, when you look back on everything you're gonna realize the struggle she went through to get you to where you were to all the all the hardships she went through and then i'm like my mother i started getting deep i'm like my mother went through that she she had to do this and that and that and i started getting deep guys i went i went so deep because honestly guys i love my mom to the, like to the ends of earth y'all should know this by now i love my mom and whenever i like i ever because she told me she always told me about how when she first came here she came here by herself which is her and how she had us like she never really had a, a man to back her up it was putting like her against the world like she told us like one day um she had to get my brother to daycare me to kindergarten and my brother to grade one and so she had to like she had to like have me on her back no she had me on her back no what's this she had my brother in the stroller me on my me on her back and then my dad, my other brother on her hand. So she had three kids with her on the bus trying to run in the morning, trying to get us to school and all that. And that like moves me and motivates me, like motivates me to do well, like to realize how how much work she put into us, like how she like, she honestly came here by herself at the age of 19 um, to Canada. And just hearing how she, what happened to her and like how she got here and all that she did for us and like the, the effort and the love she put into us, like, I'm a moved kid and so that always moves me and so I was talking to like myself but the kid in my head like your mom she did this like my mom did this and that and then I started getting emotional and so I started crying in public while I was talking to myself but my mom and then I kind of like because then I saw the bus that I was waiting for I'm like oh shit I'm in public so I started looking around and there's these people they're like some of them were like giving me dirty looks <laughs> And some of them would give me like that. Oh, he's crying. And someone would be like, "Are you? Are you good, son? Like, you need something? Like, you good?" And then those people are looking like, "Oh my god, that kid crazy. He's talking to, he's crying to himself in public. Like, it was bad." <laughs> and I'm like, I just want to get on the bus and hide because it was so embarrassing. Like, I was, I was full out preaching about my mom in public while I was crying. <laughs> Oh, it was bad. I'm like wiping the tears away. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm chill. I'm cool. I was good. And then I like run on the bus. It was so bad. But that's like the third time I caught myself doing that. Like the other day, again, at a bus. I don't know. Is this, this me? Oh, no, it was me on a bus. I was on the bus, right? And after there was a girl, she had a prosthetic arm and she was hiding it. I'm like, and so I went on this tangent in my head of me talking to the girl about why she should not be hiding her prosthetic arm like i was literally i was literally sitting there arguing with the girl in my head and from that conversation about the prosthetic arm we started talking about how to get away with murder not the tv show like a little bit of the tv show but actually how to get away with murder like actually how to get away with murder like how to hide the body how to do this how to do that like i actually went on a full detail on how to do that like guys i've been going some really weird like mythical creature type of journeys in my head lately and it hasn't been good so i'm gonna come here and talk to you guys about it because i can use you guys i'm gonna abuse my privilege of over like having commentaries and use that to my advantage right now i always use it to my advantage but um yeah lately i've been really busy so i think that's what's been affecting me with my thoughts like i've been thinking lately about i don't know i've been thinking about the way I don't know guys, I have some really deep thoughts, but I've been thinking about the way the world works and how there's so much hate in the world and how there needs to be more love. Like I've been thinking about, for example, um, okay, sorry about that. Um, going on with my thoughts. So for example, this weekend, right, um, there was this girl. <laughs> it's really funny. There was this girl, right? And I, I was seeing her when she like, I, I first saw her like off the corner of my eye. And I don't know, she just, she just, poof, out of nowhere, she just, she just stood out because she was one of those girls that you know wore the you know the, the i call them the the hurricane pants because 
it, like it reaches their calf <laughs> muscle like at the butt like it reaches the end of their calf and then they have like the weird socks like she was wearing those jeans like those type of like jeans and then she was wearing like the uh rainbow socks and then she was wearing flats and then she had like a sweater on and she had her hair done back she's wearing glasses like she reminds me of those characters from those like those those like nerdy characters from those movies and the thing is i never ever i don't think i've like i've always seen nerdy characters of course i'm a nerd myself um but like dressed that way i've never actually seen that before and so i was i was taken back i'm like whoa whoa whoa, whoa no way like i was like that's sick <laughs> because i've never it's like those movies so they're real i'm like i've never seen that before but someone dressed like that and so i was watching her right and i was just like that's cool i like the way she dressed i was gonna tell her that too but then what happened was something that I never thought would happen because it's like it happens to me before but very rarely very 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 rarely this ever happens to me and I always thought they were cheesy and I always thought like it wasn't true but for all my people out there it is hella true but what happened was she was she was at the front of the door right and then um she was looking for her because I was at the front of the bus and she was trying to watch she was gonna she was gonna get it she was gonna get into the bus and she was like trying to look for her um she was going to look for her, what's it called again, her bus pass or like a bus thing for whatever. I think it was a ticket to get onto the bus. I think it was a pass, whatever, a bus thing to get on the bus. And she couldn't find it. There was someone behind her. And then literally she smiles at the dude behind her says, you can go first. And once I saw her smile, guys, I'm telling you guys, this is some real, real ass shit right here. Excuse my language, but some real shit, right? This has hardly ever happened to me. Like, it happened to me about two times before. But this is, it's weird. But my heart, it literally stuttered. You know when someone says my heart skipped the beat? And you're like, oh, that shit ain't true. It happened to me. It happened to me. I literally, my heart literally skipped the beat. I was like, whoa. Like, her smile, that's one of the best smiles I've ever seen. And it's funny because... People will judge her off of the way she looks, but just from that smile, I got three things from her. One, she's a kind person. You can see it in her eyes. You know, you know, you can see the kindness in someone's eyes. You could see it in her eyes. You can tell that she wouldn't hurt anybody, and that if there was someone in front of her, she'd let go. You could see the kindness in her soul. Like you could see it. I could tell one that she's a kind person. Two, that she's a fun person. That she's like one that she's like not really shy but she's very open that she's like very friendly that you like she wouldn't be like that person to be like oh stop talking to me she wouldn't be a snob very kind person very loving person you can see it in her eyes when she smiled and what's called again the next thing that i saw from her um was compassion is that weird that i could see that um if it's weird guys i could like in her eyes i could see that she she's, she's good empathy that she can empathize guys i'm weird okay let me be <laughs> I just I just saw something in her right and my heart skipped a beat and I'm like I is that is that, is that, is that the first stages of love bro <laughs> honestly and I'm just thinking there that I like people would normally like but technically because the way she looks would people like make fun of her people would do this people do that because of the way she looks but she looks like one of the most kindest person like kindest person I ever met and I have never even talked to her that's so crazy she left she she made my heart stutter is that weird like it got to the point like i really wanted to talk to her right but she was on like the under of the bus she's like the other end of the bus so like we were like nowhere near each other and so i was actually debating on following her to her like the nearest stop and like talking to her but then i'm like that's really creepy <laughs> like i was like maybe it's just not into me so i left the bus so i got off at my stop but i was literally sitting there thinking how at my school, if like, cause if someone ever ever dressed like dressed like that, they'd be categorized as like the nerdy type, and no one would really talk to them at my middle school. They would do that, and, like it was true. Like there's a hierarchy at my middle school. It wasn't like we'll make fun of you, but they wouldn't talk to you type of thing. Um, you'd be more of an outcast for that. But she looked honestly like one of the most kindest person, like person you could ever meet. She had that she had that, that smile, that welcoming smile, that shows kindness i don't know it was radiant it was a beautiful smile and i think and it made my heart skip a beat and i was so amazed by that because i always thought that like it happened a few times but i, n I never really thought it would happen for a random person but it did 
and it reopened my eyes and i kind of became a creeper after that like i was like i was like stealing glances by her and all the stealing glances and all that other weird stuff but yeah i think one of some really really I, I think i need more sleep i don't know what's going on with me but yeah guys if you want to judge me that's fine that's all good but there's some there's something wrong with me i don't know if i need to go see it like a, a counselor about this but hopefully after this whole school year is done i'll be going back to normal but anyways guys i think i'm gonna end off this weird and weird stupid commentary here hope y'all enjoyed um thank you all so much for watching and i hope t i'll talk to you guys on the next one as always guys i'm out honestly i i am so bye guys i gotta go